Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Introducing DeepSeek R10528, new upgrade. DeepSeek is back and this time it's serious. Meet DeepSeek R10528, the latest upgrade to their powerful reasoning model. With a draw dropping 671 billion total parameters, 163 840,000 token contexts, and a sparse mixture of experts' architecture, this model brings OpenAI-level performance in an open-source package. And yes, it's blazing fast, budget-friendly, and freely available for developers and researchers. Let's dive in. It was just officially released through the DeepSeek AI Hugging Face profile on Hugging Face, and you can see that it is under the MIT license, and there are a couple of community notes listed, like creating me the readme file, as well as a couple of adjustments, but initial reports are showcasing that this is a pretty powerful model that has upgraded the capability of the original DeepSeek model with long-term reasoning, smarter, and ready for real-world use cases. But what's even more shocking is the benchmark results that already came for this model. You can see that it is something that is close up against O4 Mini as well as O3 High in terms of performance on the MMLU, which is the massive multitask large language model benchmark. It is something that does pretty good in terms of its performance, it is outperforming many of these established models like Grok3 Mini, as well as Grok3 Mini, the 2025-0131 update, which is on the high standard, and it is something that also does well in hard question accuracy. So it shows its competitive general reasoning ability, especially considering that it is an open source model going up against these proprietary models. You can access through DeepSeek's API, or you can get a free API from Open Router. They also provide the paid version for it. And this is where there's no rate limits when you access it through this API. You can also access it through their chatbot by enabling deep think mode. And that is a good way for you to get access to this new upgraded DeepSeek R1 model. Now the context is set at 136K, approximately that much. And it is listed at $1.95 for 1 million input tokens and $5 for 1 million output tokens, which is pretty reasonable for a reasoning model. Now what we're going to do is to test out a couple of prompts from reasoning to coding to mathematics. So this is our first prompt for math reasoning problem. And it says a train travels 60 miles per hour for 45 minutes, then 30 miles per hour for 30 minutes. What is the total distance it traveled and what was its average speed over the entire trip? Let's set it out. Essentially, it is going to test the multi-step arithmetic reasoning with unit conversion as well as the attention to detail. So let's see if it's capable of revealing whether the model can use chain of steps as well as maintaining the numerical consistency to get the correct answer. So the correct answer is going to use the total distance times per speed to get the answer, which is 48 miles per hour. And there we go, guys. We have gotten the correct answer, which is where I calculated the average speed 48 miles per hour. And it calculated the first segment, which was 45. So you can see it did spend a couple of seconds to actually generate this. So definitely great to see that. Now I want to test its coding ability and its creativity. So here's my prompt. It says, draw a beautiful sunset skybox that would be perfectly at home in an early 2000s Sega video game. And here's the result. So it did a pretty job in generating this skyline, which is pretty decent. Next up, we're going to have it create a SAS landing page. So we're requesting it to basically add as many features as possible. And this is essentially to see how well it is in terms of its front end design, as well as what the model is capable of doing in terms of creating a good modern looking landing page. And there we go. So this is our SaaS landing page. I'm truly astonished to see what is capable of outputting this. It took a bit longer than expected to generate this, but it did a pretty good job. You can see it. You can see the animations, and this is actually something that is really beautiful. It did a great job in adding these highlighted animated profiles for each of the features. You can see the pricing plan, and it is something that did an exceptional job in terms of the generation for the SAS landing page. So next up is a prompt where I'm asking if it's raining and John didn't take his umbrella, what is most likely the outcome? So what could John have done differently to avoid this outcome? And essentially, this is where I'm asking this prompt which is focused in common sense plus counterfactual reasoning. So it's going to evaluate the model's common sense reasoning as well as hypothetical thinking. So it's going to help assess whether the model can actually simulate a real world scenarios, uh, which is kind of crucial for conversational AI. 
So it's also going to test user assistance tools and decision support. So right away, we can see the answer is first, it's going to talk about why it is most likely the outcome, the effect of the rain, the absence of protection, immediacy, as well as probability, all of the four things that I actually had required. And it is also talking about what likely the outcome is, which is where John is actually going to get wet and what he could have done, where he could have taken his umbrella. And to avoid it, John needed to do pre-preparedness where he needed to check the weather, having an umbrella or a raincoat or the ability to find a prompt shelter. So it did a great job in this common sense prompt and it is definitely something that responded quite quickly in this case. But in conclusion, you can see that in terms of the performance and the output that we saw from all of these different prompts, it is exceptionally better than the previous model. So it's a massive performance jump, even though it's a minor upgrade. And this is definitely a step forward. Maybe it's probably a work towards the release of the new DeepSeek R2 model, which is coming very soon. So that's basically it for today's video on this new surprising DeepSeek R1 release. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Tarantula SEO Spider. Unlock the deepest SEO secrets and opportunities. The superior AI-powered SEO Spider for better audits, higher SERP rankings, and more website traffic. Audit your site, improve your rankings. Audit competitors, grab their strategies. The best SEO Spider for website owners, professional SEOs, and agencies. Better performance for individual businesses or agencies. Bloggers, improve your blog's ranking. Companies, remove issues that lower your search rank. Marketers, boost your sales with free SEO traffic. Agencies, superior and faster audits for your clients. SEOs, the insights you need to go to number one. Not just that, complete SEO site audit. The only SEO editor or crawler that's AI enabled. Find all the problems that stop a site from ranking. Find your keywords using AI. Rewrite any page using AI. Get a search engine's perspective of your site. Fix any site for better rankings with issue correction. Detects on-page optimization issues. Connects with Google's APIs to pull even more data. Generate sitemaps and robots.txt with one click. Site visualizer. Advanced control and features. Included on-page SEO analyzer tool. Advanced crawler system, high speed, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Tarantula SEO Spider now. Just go to tarantulaseo.in.